So nutrients can be divided into macronutrients and micronutrients. Your macronutrients are nutrients that are required in large amounts. And that's going to include your NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. It's going to include calcium and magnesium and potentially sulfur. But mostly it's your nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, calcium, and magnesium required in large amounts. This is very important to understand. Your micronutrients are going to include things like boron, copper, zinc, molybdenum. These are required in small amounts. It's very common when clients are trying to assess problems in their garden that they might think they have a micronutrient deficiency when actually the majority of nutrient formulas on the market today are incredibly complete. We're using the best food in the world and quite often there's some part of the plant's metabolic process that's limited making it appear like a nutrient deficiency when potentially the plant is having a problem taking up the nutrient. So these macronutrients and micronutrients can also be looked at as mobile and immobile nutrients. So the macronutrients required in large amounts are mobile. The plant can move them throughout its material as needed. Micronutrients are immobile which means that the plant cannot move them around. So when we're looking at macronutrients being mobile, if we're seeing a nutrient deficiency that genuinely relates to macronutrients, we're going to see it in lower leaves. Uh, calcium, a macronutrient, is a nitrogen fixer. Without enough calcium, the nitrogen cannot be taken up. So we may be looking at what appears to be a nitrogen deficiency, but actually is a calcium deficiency. That's why it is very common for us to utilize products like calcium magnesium additives like ProCal by Green Planet Nutrients. This is, calcium is a macronutrient required in large amounts, but this product also contains iron, which is a micronutrient required in small amounts. So this is somewhat a micronutrient supplement. And it's very common for us to have to supplement nutrient programs with calcium magnesium uh, products. So if we're looking at uh, immobile nutrients, deficiencies of those will occur in the new growth, the top growth of the plant, because the plant cannot move these nutrients around. But I will emphasize that genuine nutrient deficiencies related to micronutrients is actually quite rare. Thanks for tuning in today.